What is the fate of the smart and the talented? The corporate world finds smart, talented people and promotes them into management. But many of these leaders never look beyond their own capability to see the full genius on their team. Have you ever worked around someone who made you feel smarter and more capable? We call these leaders multipliers. Have you ever worked around someone who made you question your own intelligence? We call these leaders diminishers. They may hire smart people, but they quickly put other people in the background. They are smart leaders, but they shut down the smarts of others. Diminishers come at such a high cost, they waste talent and intellect that sits right in front of them. Organizations can't afford diminishers. I worked in senior management at Oracle for 17 years, and I worked around a lot of really smart executives. I saw how some leaders literally shut down brain power in the people around them. Yet other leaders seemed to amplify the intelligence of the people around them. These leaders were multipliers, intelligence multipliers. I saw this pattern with other executives, and I was determined to research this to find out why. My first discovery was my research partner, Greg McEwen, at the Stanford Graduate School of Business. Together, we studied 150 leaders in 35 companies over four continents in pursuit of one really big question. Why do some leaders drain intelligence while others amplify it? So what did we find? We found that diminishers and multipliers did many things alike, but a small number of things differently, five in particular. Multipliers act as talent magnets, liberators, challengers, debate makers, and investors. Multipliers get so much brain power from their people that the workforce is essentially doubled for free. What would happen in your organization if you operated more like a multiplier? Imagine what is possible with access to all the intelligence that sits in your organization.